Here's my collection of Beatle records. I'll uh, first start with the UK records, the Parlophone label ones that I have. This is Beatles Please Please Me. It is a third press. Mm. Uh, by the way, that is mono. Uh, all, all the Beatles records I have are going to be in mono, uh, minus the ones that were only made in stereo. Uh, with the Beatles, first press, uh, you can tell the record, uh, sleeve one, um, you can see misspelling on you really got a hold on me, a gotta instead of got a. Um, this is the EJ day sleeve as well as please please me is. If you look on the label, you will also see that the credit here to for money is uh, Joe Beat. Let me get that focused in Joe Beat, uh, and that makes that a little bit rarer than other versions. Next is Beatles Hard Day Night. Let me focus it in a little. Mono as well. Beatles for sale. Mono as well. Help. Mono. Alright, here's Rubber Soul. Now this is an odd one. This is not a first press unlike uh, all the other ones. Uh, this is actually considered a second press, but on uh, the label, the front side is a dash. Let me double check here. Front side of the label is a dash 4 in the matrix. The back side is a dash 1. Uh, that's just significant because it signifies that the back side is the uh, first pressing which was withdrawn because of the imbalance uh, known as the loud cut. Up next is Revolver. Uh, it technically, I guess, is it's still considered a first pressing even though it is not the uh, remix uh, 11 on the back side of uh, Tomorrow Never Knows. Sergeant Pepper um, Mono as well, first press, has all the original cutouts and inserts as well as the uh, psychedelic back sleeve. Uh, I went ahead and listed in there, even though this is Capital Capital Record um, Magical Mystery Tour with booklet intact. Uh, pretty nice. All right, the Beatles White Album number zero one four nine six nine eight. Uh, not super low, but it's uh, pretty low. Uh, does not come with the original photos, but does have the original uh, poster. And this is in mono. Okay, this is moving into stereo now. Uh, Abbey Road, first press. If you look back here on the back side here, the apple is misaligned from the, the words, uh, which signifies that it's a first press, which also makes it a little bit more rare than others. And let it be, this is not the box set, so it's not a first press, it is a second press. Um, back side here you can see the bluish red uh, apple, bluish greenish red apple. So it's the second press of that. Alright, moving on to the U.S. releases. Um, I have one authentic copy of Introducing the Beatles. Um, you can see that George has a shadow over here, um, as well as the original advertisement sleeve that came with it. Um, I have another fake copy, so I don't even keep this in a sleeve. It's in pretty bad condition, but it's not even real, so not a big deal. 
Meet the Beatles, um, Capital. It's a stereo press, um, first press that I know of. Beatles second album, first press as well in stereo. Hard Day's Night, uh, United Artist, first press, it is mono. Beatles 65, capital, it is mono. Help, capital release, mono as well. Rubber Soul, mono. Yesterday and today, um, just a normal version, not um, not the butcher cover, but it is a first press. Revolver, first press, mono, capital. Okay, wide album, cap uh, capital release, it is stereo, um, number 2629508, first press. Capital Yellow Submarine, first press as well. Abbey Road, Capital First Press. Tell by the sewer drain down here, you can see a little bit of it. Let it be Capital First Press. Yeah, I have two copies of Hollywood Bowl. This is a good, uh, clean copy of it, first press. I also have this copy, which is in very, very poor condition. The Beatles, Red Album, 1962 to 1966. Um, this is the red vinyl. I do have another copy with the... Uh, standard black vinyl uh, later press it has the uh, more modern capital logo here is the blue album uh, 67 through 70 um, it is as well it is blue vinyl as well something found that was kind of odd here in the US it's a Podian copy of Rubber Soul. It's can't, couldn't get the sticker out over here, but it's just a sticker covering up there. Uh, so a German press of Rubber Soul. Sergeant Pepper, 1970 press of it, capital. And here is Abbey Road. It is just the newest release. Um, Nothing special about it. Picked it up at Best Buy. Thought, hey, just get a new copy of it. So that are, that is all my 33s. Um, I will be showing the 45 as well.